school, our amazingly good teacher told us to build a double composting bin with no power tools. We decided to use big logs for stabilizers so the walls don't fall down. We don't want them to fall down. Our, our whole bin is 15 feet. That makes each individual bin seven and a half feet wide. And we decided to make it five feet in depth. Zach would shimmy up the tree and use his weight to pull it down so I could hold on to it and Zach could cut it down. Here's the saw that we used. Once we were done building, we loosened up the soil. The next day we came back and raked le dead leaves on the top of our loose soil. This step is very important because the dead leaves soak up the moisture so your pile doesn't get sopping wet. Well, this here has been one. It's been sitting for six months. This has been two. Obviously, we've been using it. Oh, jeez, whiz. This is heavy. Oh, oh, yeah. Wow, that's nice soil. It's not too wet, not too dry. It's just right. It's yeah. nice soil. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, it's nice. Now let's stomp it apart. Ow. Wow, my boy. <laughs> Heavy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, 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 no. This has a lot of moisture in it. Wow. This must be nitrogen strong. Yeah. Zach, is it right? Yeah. I love Oh, you, man. Zach. This is strong. Oh, me oh. too. Oh, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Look at this stuff. Oh, that's. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. That stinks. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ow. Stinky. Oh. Look at this potato. Oh, yeah. I'm Yum. Gonna crack it. Take a whiff of that. Oh, we better cover this up with some carbon. Oh, yeah. Why are there two compost bins? So we can use this one for six months and that one for six months. So when you guys first started, you guys were using a pick. Why were you picking at the ground, Cash? Because we can loosen up the dirt and we can all let the worms like, get wet and stuff because they look wet. They don't want to be dry so they can die. They, we want worms. We want Why do you worms. want worms in your compost pile? <laughs> um, we want worms. Cause Cause Zach, can, Zach why do you want worms in your compost pile? Because worms poop and they get and they do all that fertilizing and then whenever that fertilizer goes in, that fertilizer it goes into the to the moist um dirt and then it turns into regular dirt again. And then that's really good, rich soil, and that's the kind of soil you want to you want to plant with, and it's good, good soil. So worms help with the decomposing. Yeah. We started off with two compost buckets, right? And we put one compost bucket in this bin number one. Cash. Yeah. What was the soil like when we emptied it into your bin number one? It was moist. Right in the middle. Okay. So is that good or bad? It's um good. That's good. very good. Very good. There's All right. Worm Did it? It's very good. Was it stinky? No. Okay. That one over good. there. Okay. So this then. One over here okay. Was... So then we took the second bucket and we emptied it into our bin number two. What was it like? Was it really dry? Really wet. It was it really wet? It was so wet. Bone wet. Worms don't like so soaking wet because they because worms they don't want to drown. 
And worms can't just go underwater for... Okay. What was the big thing about our bin number two? What did we realize right away? It stunk. It stunk. It stunk really bad, didn't it? It was really wet and it was really stinky, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, does that mean that it was carbon rich or does that mean it was no, nitrogen rich? Nitrogen rich. Nitrogen rich. All right. Yeah, that, so, what? Uh, how do you know if your compost pile is carbon rich? If it's carbon rich, then it's just bone dry. It won't, it won't do anything. Worms don't like that. Okay, so how do you know if it's nitrogen rich? If it's soaking wet. And, and it if stinks. it's like a lake of water and it stinks and it's slimy, you don't 